Wormholes, particle physics, extra dimensions. Are the wonders of so-called reality really what they appear to be? Or do we exist in an elaborate hologram? Is our universe the result of random activity or the result of intelligent design? If a creator was involved, can we discover him through our perception of divine order? This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. We're going from multi-better to multiverse. Welcome to Into the Multiverse. I'm your host, Josh Peck, and with me, my lovely wife, Christina Peck. Christina, how are you doing? Doing great. How are you doing? I am fantastic, and we're, <clears throat> as I am in every episode, because I say fantastic way too much, but that's okay. <laughs> I have to give credit where credit is due. Derek Gilbert, actually, uh, genius that he is, gave me that joke, the multi-better multiverse. I thought it was cute. <laughs> it's it's, it's cute adorable. that he tried. It's so cute. <laughs> no, that that's a good one, though. But <laughs> so... Uh, 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 but so th thank you to, to Derek for that. Um, today, yeah. Mandela Effect, yes. finally. Finally, we've <laughs> been meaning to get to this mm -hmm. for a few weeks now, but we've been, uh, we had some surprise guests come into the studio and we thought we might snag them first yeah. before you know, going on to this. Definitely. But. If this is your first time joining us into the multiverse, make sure you subscribe. It's very important that you subscribe there. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, there's a little subscribe button in the lower, what would that be? Your lower right hand corner. Mm -hmm. Click on that, subscribe to our channel, and uh, you'll have access to all past episodes of Into the Multiverse as well as future ones. We do them every week. Uh, and where else can people find us online? Yeah, I, again, YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Into the Multiverse, and our homepage at skywatchtv.com. If you scroll down, you can find our picture of Josh and I on. <laughs> I always say it's the left-hand side. I, I must... Well, it'll be their right. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> They're right. Okay, you're right. <laughs> and you click on that, and it will take you right to our homepage. And if you have Roku, check us out on Roku under the uh, Skywatch TV channel. Yes, absolutely. So today we ac we actually got uh, an email from somebody for a, a show suggestion, and I'm actually glad that this person sent this in. Uh, his name is Rick. Uh, the, the email said, uh, hi, Josh, how are you? My name is Rick, and I was wondering what your thoughts are on the Mandela effect, and do you think you could touch on the subject on your show? Thank you, buddy, from uh, or for your time and your great show. Uh, well, you're welcome, Rick, and thank you for sending in the email. And yes, we're actually gonna do a couple of these episodes mm -hmm. um on this because it's i i think it is really important it's, yeah it's important and it's also interesting it yeah. is interesting it's amazing how big this has blown up i know <laughs> you, just a couple of years ago i know you and i discussed this when we first discovered people talking about yeah. this um uh, just a couple of years ago, people wouldn't really pay much mind to well, this sort of thing. Yeah, really. it used to be just kind of a fun little anomaly that was kind yeah. of weird and like, oh, you know, our memories are kind of silly. And, you know, it's funny how right. uh, kind of kind of like uh, that show we've been watching, Brain Games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love that great, show. Great, great show. And it's, yes. you know, it's just kind of a fun little, you know, what we see isn't always what's really there kind of thing. Right. And, and it's and interesting. I but have to give a shout out to, well, I, mm -hmm. uh, to uh, somebody on my Facebook page actually mm -hmm. recommended that to us. So thank you very much. Yeah, it's it's so. a, it's a fun show. It's really good. And um but this the, it's kind of blown up. This topic is kind of blown up into some really disturbing areas that we're oh, going to be getting yeah. into. Mm -hmm. Uh we were originally planning on just doing one show, but I, it, it, there's just so many different avenues and so many areas and, and, and extremely uh, multiversey mm -hmm. <laughs> topics to be discussed with this that we decided to, to, to do a couple of them. Um, so I guess we can start with how it, uh, what is the Mandela right, effect? Right, <laughs> yes. Yes, it was named after a group of people who thought, supposedly thought or remembered uh, Nelson Mandela dying years before. Yeah, a bunch of people had this this shared memory, this false mm -hmm. memory that, uh, that Nelson Mandela had died in prison um, instead of, what was it, Being 2013 or something yeah. when he actually died right. a couple years ago, or I, I don't remember exactly when, but, but, uh, but no, he didn't die in prison. No. Um, but a lot of people had the memory that he that, that he, he died did. in prison. But, but yeah, even in school, though, we, we did. We, we, when we learned about Nelson Mandela mm -hmm. and when he was released from prison, right. I remember that, yeah. you know. But it's very interesting yeah. how 
a neuroscience <laughs> and thing. I love how the brain works. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm so big into physics and science and everything. Right. So the way the brain works is just absolutely amazing. And people are taking this a little, um, it's getting out of hand in some areas. Yeah, it is. And we'll, we'll get to that. But first, if you're completely new to this, uh, we thought it'd be, it'd be interesting and kind of fun to run through a few of these and see what you think at home. Mm -hmm. Um, because ma many of these might be brand new to you, or, uh, maybe you have heard them, but, uh, it, it's still kind of interesting anyway. So we can look at the very first one here. All right. Do you think the proper spelling is Berenstain bears? or Berenstein Bears. Look on your screen at the two spellings. Which is correct? Well, this one was surprising to me. Me as well. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> Berenstain. Yeah. S-T-A-I-N. Yes. And th th this is a common one that a lot of people bring up. It was common for th That one was kind of like, wait, what? No mm -hmm. way. I, I always thought it was Steen, yeah. E-I-N, but it's A-I-N. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and, and what, uh, what I think is going on here is that how often do you actually see a last name Stain? Right. You know, almost never. But how often do you see Stein or Steen? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people have last names like that. So right. I think that... Ben Stein. Yeah, I, I think that our memories just kind of um, put this together and, yeah. you know, because... Uh, Think about it. Honestly, I never paid real close attention to the exact spell. You know, when I was a kid, I loved the books. I didn't care how the name was spelled. I assumed I knew, but I didn't, I didn't study it. No. <laughs> you know, it wasn't an active, like really conscious memory of mine. But right. uh, so that, that's, that's one interesting one. Uh -huh. um, now, here, here's another one from Star Wars, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, is, is the quote, Luke... I am your father, or is it, no, I am your father? I always thought Luke, but it's actually no. No, <laughs> yeah, and, but you know what, when, when you and I were going through the videos, mm -hmm. my mind, because I thought it was Luke at first, mm -hmm. but when we were going through the clips, all of a sudden, I, like, it kicked, it, it just, something, a switch went off, and I was like, wait, no. It's no, I yeah. am your father. Yeah. Hearing it, the dialogue between Vader and Luke, yeah. it all of a sudden, like, a light switch went on, and I was, oh, no, mm -hmm. it was no. Yeah, and, and I think that we think that, you know, it would be Luke because it's misquoted so much. Oh, I mean, there are so many so movies much. and TV shows, and every time it's quoted, it's Luke. It's, it's, yeah, it's a exactly. misquote. It could have been something like that. All right, here's another one. Is it magic mirror on the wall who is the fairest of them all or is it mirror mirror on the wall who is the fairest of them all from snow white which do you think it is it is actually not mirror mirror it's magic it's magic mirror, mirror. <laughs> that was uh you know that snow one blew my mind that one was weird too i you know you and i saw the movie mm -hmm. uh Snow White and the, oh, the Huntsman. Yeah, I, I don't the, know the if that was ever. See, I, don't I don't remember it enough. To I, <laughs> I can't remember that enough either, actually, to think that maybe she said magic mirror or, or mirror mirror. Well, well, I guess from something I read, and, and I don't, I, did, I don't have the book, so I don't know for sure. But uh -huh. I guess in the book it says mirror mirror, but in the okay, movie it says the magic actual, mirror for some uh, reason. Brothers Grimm? Is it the Brothers uh, Grimm? I don't remember. Version? Oh, okay. I, I, I have no idea. Interesting, um, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, Mr. Rogers, is <laughs> it, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, or is it, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood? I would always think the, but mm -hmm. it's this. <laughs> yeah, that one I was surprised too. Yeah, because we looked up the clip and he actually does say this. <laughs> yeah. I, I watched that every single day. Yeah, as I a loved kid. it when I was a kid. Yeah. And so, of course, I always thought, it's a <laughs> beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I quoted it many, many times <laughs> at, at work and all throughout the years and always quoted it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at another one. Is it Interview with the Vampire, the Anne Rice book, or is it Interview with a Vampire? It's the, that yeah, one, I, that one I, I knew. I knew that one. Yeah, that, I that, never read the book. You read the book. I've read the book. I, I saw and, the movie. And the mo yeah, I saw the movie. Um, but yeah, I remember that one as being the, but that, that one, I think the reason that it's so misquoted is because it just rolls off the tongue that, the, the, the tongue that way. <laughs> um, cause it's coming after with, uh -huh. so there's already a, th so if you have a uh, interview with a uh, mm -hmm. interview with the, the interview with a vampire, yeah, it, it could be either one. So of course that's going to get misquoted and it's such a small and subtle thing. 
thing, but that's yeah. just the way the human I mind was, works. It's I was flawed. really surprised in how many people were fighting about that one. Mm -hmm. I'm like, um, yeah. <laughs> no, I do remember this for, yeah. for a fact. <laughs> All right. Jiffy moms choose Jiff, or is it choosy moms choose Jiff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought choosy, you but thought it's... You thought choosy. I was like, no, it was, I always remember, Jiffy Moms choose Jiff. I always remembered that because it never made sense to me as a kid. I was like, why would it, what? Yep. Jiffy Moms choosing what? What? I thought I remembered choosy, but yeah. I guess not. It's no, Jiffy. It's Jiffy Moms choose Jiff. And I, I, I know. All right. Popular TV show. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it sex and the city or sex in the city? Most mm -hmm. people think in, it is and. Yeah, uh, I remembered that one too, uh, correctly, since... Um, I've never seen it. I never saw the show, <laughs> never mm -hmm. got into the show, but I had friends who were into it. Mm -hmm. I know one of them wanted to drag me to go see the movie, and that's all she talked about. <laughs> sex and the City, Sex and the City. Well, that must have been a, 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 a fun time. No, I hated it. <laughs> It is annoying to me. Mm -hmm. And I always remember the logo coming up mm -hmm. with and right, right there. I, <laughs> I remember that popping up on my TV screen. So, nah, I remember that one. Mm. <laughs> All right. Which is the proper spelling of this popular cereal? Mm -hmm. Is it Fruit Loops, F-R-O-O-T, Loops, or is it Fruit Loops, F-R-U-I-T, Loops? Um now this this one this one I honestly had to think about. I wasn't I had sure. To think about it too. Uh, but it turns out it's spelled with two O's yes. and not the proper spelling with a U and an I. Yeah, and you know I can give an explanation yeah. for this one. Our mind is so amazing and how it how it interprets things. Mm -hmm. like, you, you know those memes online where like if you can read this and there's numbers and, and everyone can read it. Oh, you're you're only 10% of people, yeah, somebody exactly. that can read this and it, everybody can read it's those. And it's just to get people to share it. Yeah, and, yeah. exactly. But it's because your brain automatically autocorrects. Yeah. It will autocorrect everything. Like I know what this word is. Mm -hmm. And then like when I write words down sometimes or type mm -hmm. and I will take two or three times of me rereading and editing to find that I totally mis mm -hmm. I misspelled a word or I put extra letters in there. But I don't see it at yeah, first. Yeah, when you read over. Yeah, same it's here. Because it's autocorrect. Exactly. Your brain is a massive computer. And I think that's what a lot of this is, like the choosy moms choose mm -hmm. Jiff, because that just makes more sense than Jiffy moms. Like you said, right. that makes no sense. It's a, it's a purely <laughs> scientific. Yeah, it's, about it's, it, yeah, it's a type of autocorrect that our mind kind of fills in the blanks. It's a supercomputer. And, yeah, it's that makes a lot built, of sense. It's built to do that. All right, another cereal. Is it Captain Crunch <laughs> or is it Captain Crunch? Uh, and this is another good example mm -hmm. of this because I always thought it was Captain, but it's it's uh, Cap, comma, N. <laughs> yeah, the apostrophe, yeah. Yeah, because we would think that it's just the autocorrect thing. We would think Captain because that's how it's properly spelled. You know, we see that more often than we ever see it yeah. abbreviated. And right, and I did have to think about this for a while because when you asked me, you're like, was it abbreviated or was mm -hmm. it Captain? And I'm, I'm thinking back from my childhood, <laughs> looking at the box in my mind, closing my eyes. I'm like, it was it was Captain. Yep. It was Captain Crunch. I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to take a quick break. Uh, Skywatch TV has some pretty cool stuff that I want you to have access to. So check this out and we're going to go through some more of these when we come back. You can host the biggest prophecy conference of 2016 in your living room. Of course, I'm talking about the Rocky Mountain International Prophecy Conference, July 15th through the 17th. You can bring all 26 experts on the Bible, geopolitics, prophecy, and archaeology into your living room over the internet via live video stream. 40 presentations in all from speakers like L.A. Marzulli, Avi Lipkin, Chris Putnam, Stan Dale, Dr. Randall Price, filmmaker Timothy Mahoney, best-selling author Joel Richardson, Joseph Farah of WorldNet Daily, and many more. 40 in all, all in crystal clear HD video, and all presentations archived for six weeks after the conference, you can go back and watch again. Again, how about that? You can host the biggest conference of the year in your home. For information and to sign up, log on to prophecywatchers.com. 
All right, and we are back. Welcome back to Into the Multiverse. So let, let's look at a few more of these. Uh, th this one I thought was kind of funny. And um, <laughs> popular cartoon, I remember watching it as a kid, Looney Tunes. Yes. Is it Looney Tunes, T-U-N-E-S, or Looney Tunes, T-O-O-N-S? Mm -hmm. It's actually Tunes, T-U-N-E-S, like music, like music mm -hmm. which makes no sense. No. Another mental autocorrect because yeah. we would think tunes is short for cartoons looney tunes t u n e s yeah. makes no sense but there was a tiny tunes and i guess tiny tunes That's had right. had the double o from it had, it, tiny tunes i remember yeah. that now and so wow. so our mind is, is going to kind of process that in oh weird yeah i mean they were ways. the same <laughs> they were the same characters just younger mm -hmm. so that that's a possibility there that's that's cool Field of Dreams, one of my favorite movies. Uh, I know one of yours. Yes. <laughs> and I uh, that this one. one tripped me up because when I read it, I actually had to really think about it. I knew which one made sense, but mm -hmm. I couldn't remember which one it is. It I does caught the, you on this one. Yeah, yeah, you did. Does does the quote go, "If you build it, he will come," or "If you build it, they will come"? Mm -hmm. You would think they because they came you know there were a lot of people that came mm -hmm. it's he it's he it, it was, was the first yeah like I, I forget the the name but the first baseball player yes. that came through the the field that that was the he yes i thought it was they yes <laughs> and i was like nope you're wrong yeah and wrong. then after but after i thought about it he started to make more sense i was like yeah. you know actually yeah i do remember that now <laughs> yeah uh where's where are we okay forrest gump another another really good movie all right, is, uh, and this is such a minor one, but is it Mama always said life was like a box of chocolates or Mama always said life is like a box of chocolates? I thought is and it is was. It's was. <laughs> it's was. I thought at first that it was is and then I was replaying it in my head while we were looking up the clip. I was yeah. like, no, 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 wait. It was was. <laughs> yeah. It was actually was. We actually had to look it up. Yeah. Curious George, did he ever have a tail? Uh, I remember the books when I was a kid. I thought he did, but it turns out he didn't. He, he never, never had, had a, tail. a tail. Yeah, I I didn't know that one. I didn't. <laughs> but ever... again, after after like knowing that and then thinking back, now it, it does make more sense that he didn't have a tail. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, we, we're limited on time, so we're gonna have to breeze through some of these. Oh, here here's a good one. New Zealand. Where is the actual location of New Zealand? Is it east? or uh, east or west of what, Australia. Australia? And I always thought it was west of Australia, but again, I am awful at geography. That is my, like, with any, that's my worst subject is geography. I, we live in Missouri and I would have, I would have to think about where that is. Like if I had a map of the United States in front of me, I would have to think about where Missouri is. Cause I always, I always think it's way more well, it was west. easier when we, when we lived in Michigan, Well, Michigan's right? an easy one to point out. Yeah. <laughs> he was sticking out like a sore thumb. Exactly. Literally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, it, it turns out that New Zealand, Zealand is actually east of Australia, which mm -hmm. is very, really strange to me. But um, again, I'm terrible at geography, so it does not surprise me. It would surprise me if I was right on that. Right, <laughs> right yeah. <laughs> All right, popular cleaner, OxyClean. How is it spelled? O-X-I clean or O-X-Y clean? Uh, now, this one I thought, why? I did it. I did too. <laughs> yeah, we've bought it before. It works great. Uh, but it's actually I. Yeah. Mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, one of those um, things again. Now, the, 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 these last five, and, and this is where it gets to what we're going to talk about in the next episode mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and possibly another episode as well is um, Bible verses. Oh, yeah. Now, this I is where it gets dangerous. It, it does, yeah. because I remember when, oh, it was a few years ago, uh, I saw a presentation, I think by Kent Hovind, mm -hmm. and he brought up one of these verses, and I don't want to give it away yet because right. we're going to do the whole thing. But um, I, I, he brought up this verse and he said, you know, basically what we're doing here, he's like, which version do you think is correct? Everybody thought it was one. He's like, actually, no. But the, the point of it was, how closely do we pay attention to our Bibles? Yes. You know, how, how, how many of the things that we believe are actually in the Bible may not be. Mm -hmm. You know, I was always brought up uh, with... Um, you know, spare the rod, spoil the child, that oh, whole thing. Yeah, it's not, it's not in there. No, it's, it's not. not. There, there's one verse, I think, somewhere in Proverbs where you could kind of twist it maybe to that. But And th this isn't anything about if it's okay to spank kids. Or I'm not saying. I'm just talking no, about no, the no, actual no. I'm just talking about the actual verse. There, There's no verse. Or um, 
Uh, what's the uh, uh, godly or cleanliness is next to godliness? Oh, That's yeah, a quote. Uh, it, it's not in the Bible. Nope. Um, but anyway, so let, let, let's look at some of these. Um, okay. Matthew six twelve. Is it and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors? Or is it and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us? This one, it depends on which uh, version. Which version? <laughs> Both are correct. Yeah, technically. The yes. King James has debts. Yes. Now, I was always brought up with trespass and trespassers and, and all that. Most are. Most it's people are. It's so simple to intermingle the mm -hmm. two. The trespass and trespasses is actually uh, popular with Catholic catechism mm -hmm. or in the Catholic mass. Yeah. The only difference between the Catholic Mass version of the Lord's Prayer, besides trespasses and, mm -hmm. and trespass, um, is that they cut out for thine is the kingdom and the glory, uh, you know, the kingdom, the glory, the, or the power. Oh, I, man, well, I am butchering yeah, it. See, see, how, anyway, see how bad our memories are? It's so bad. <laughs> but anyway, they cut out that last part forever. Amen. Yeah. You know, they cut that out forever, you know, for that. But um, right. uh, but both are actually correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here, here's another one. Um, Luke 11, 4. Is this correct? And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. See, to me, that sounds kind of janky. <laughs> it is, but that's just the parallel mm -hmm. gospel. Exactly. To Matthew. Yeah, amazing. Okay, Isaiah Okay, I, Isaiah 11.6. This is a big one that, that gets spread around. Um, the whole lion and lamb thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is correct. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and the little child shall lead them. Is that one correct or is it supposed to be the lion and the lamb? It's actually wolf. It always it's has wolf. been wolf. That's And that's the one that Kent Hoven used yeah, as an example to show us. You know, and, and and that's a popular misconception because Absolutely. Revelation, you know, Jesus is the lion and the lamb. You know, yes. Revelation talks about that. There's a lot of places that talk about that. This just isn't one of them. <laughs> no, but the lion is The in, lion is in the verse. It's in the verse. People just switch it up. Exactly. What is the most relatable uh, um, enemy to the lamb? The wolf. Mm -hmm. The wolf has always gone after the sheep. Yeah. Always. Yep. The leopard should lay down with a kid. The leopard and the goat. Mm-hmm. Always the calf and the young lion mm -hmm. and the fatling. So the lion is always going after the cattle. Mm -hmm. That's that's how you. That's how I remembered the verse. That you makes know? sense. You know, so it's like you just go with its natural enemy. Yeah, and it fits together. Yeah, uh, here's another one. Mark two twenty two. Uh, now, what does the King James say? Does it say, "And no man putteth new wine into old bottles"? Does, does the King James say bottles or does the King James say wineskins? This was one that tripped me up too. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, pretty much every version except the King James says wineskins wine and the King James says bottles. Yep. Now, and we'll get more into this in a future episode, but uh, people will say, see, there's evidence of time travel because they didn't even have bottles back then. And yes, they did. They have had bottles for they so had long. They had jugs, they <laughs> yeah. had vases, now, they with, had all that. With this actual verse, wineskins might be more appropriate because wineskins mm -hmm. do expand with old wine. And there, there's, there's a little bit more information that you can glean from that. So uh, versions like the ESV might be a little more you know, accurate, but still bottles, it's essentially the same thing. If you go back to the Greek and the Hebrew, <laughs> It means the same thing. It's essentially the same deal. Yep. All right. Uh, Matthew 6, 10. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Is this correct? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in, or yeah, as it is in heaven. Uh, now, most remember this as thy will be done on earth mm -hmm. as it is in heaven, but it's actually in. in earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in, in earth. earth. And I remember Don. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess it's in. As a <laughs> kid going to Christian school and having to to recite it word for word, mm -hmm. as a child, no, looking back at it now, yeah, I was you marked down. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, now I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> at first, you know, as time went on, of course, I went back to on. But I do remember being marked down for 
writing on well, we instead remember, of in. My, my, I believe we remember on because the word before that is done. Done on is yes. a little more fluent than done in. in. You know, it's a little more fluent. It seems to flow a little better just linguistically. Mm -hmm. So, of course, again, the autocorrect thing in our minds, we're yeah. going to put that together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, let's see, that was our last one, wasn't it? Good, because we only have a couple minutes left. But uh, so like we've talked about before, what, what, what actually causes these memories? And I know we're going to be getting into this in, in the next episode and delving more into this is time travel and parallel <laughs> worlds. Is that, a, is that an actual possibility? Because there are people... That is actually what they believe. Worried about. They believe that CERN is creating these uh, yeah, black holes. Yeah, can CERN holes even do something like that? Going back and altering everything, mm -hmm. including scripture. Exactly, and that, that's what we mean when uh, we say that this is definitely a multiverse topic. Uh, so we'll be getting into that in in the next um, episode. But just to kind of recap on where we landed here. Mm -hmm. A lot of these, it's just we're remembering it wrong. Or I mean, you're remembering it, a different version of the Bible. Yeah, or a different version. Or I would have a lot easier time believing that somebody said it was King James and it just wasn't. Right. Than believing that somebody's altering the uh, Bibles. Yeah. And, and actually, yeah. We'll, we'll get we'll get into this in, in a future episode. But I do want to make this point. I think Derek Gilbert uh, had a really good point in a in a recent uh, daily update, where he said if you're giving any of this credence. W the, this whole the the Bibles are changing idea. Right, yeah. Why are you a Christian? Right. <laughs> what, mm -hmm. How can you trust anything that right. the Bible says? That's and right. and I know some people will say, well, God's written it on our hearts, so that's how we know. But the, but the heart Bible also, of man is deceitful yeah, and wicked. Yeah, exactly. That and, and that's straight from the Bible. So exactly. I would rather trust in the Word of God than my own human heart that it's I, I know is. It is the law, and the law mm -hmm. would never be changed. Exactly. So, uh, so that, and we're going to be getting into that a little more in a future episode. If you haven't had a chance to do so, subscribe to our channel. Uh, tune in next week. Check us out on Skywatch TV. If you have any questions or suggestions for future shows, email me at jpeck at skywatchtv.com. And until next time, take care and God bless. Here at Skywatch TV, we discuss a lot of cutting-edge theological concepts. In fact, some think we've gone over the edge with some of the things we discuss. But the truth is, we build on the work of giants. One such is George Hawkins Pember. G.H. Pember was an English theologian in the 19th century who saw the return of the days of Noah in the rise of spiritualism, the theosophical movement, concepts that form the basis of the New Age movement, which is influencing evangelical churches in America today. He wrote a lot about prophecy, not common in that era. But again, a lot of the things that Pember saw coming, we're seeing the fruit of today in our 21st century world. Most of Pember's works are out of print, and those that have been reprinted are often heavily edited. It's not unusual, not uncommon, not unheard of for a first edition work by Pember to sell for as much as $1,500. For the first time, Defender Publishing has collected the classic works of George Hawkins Pember under a single cover. The G.H. Pember Collection, including his classic work, Earth's Earliest Ages, available for the first time in one volume from Defender Publishing. It's $29.95 plus shipping and handling. This is an invaluable resource for your reference library. The G.H. Pember Collection, $29.95 plus shipping and handling from the Skywatch TV store, available online at skywatchtvstore.com.